Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say good afternoon or good morning from wherever you are in the world. Uh, we are bringing you a game from Almineca today, Almineca versus Kula Vega Sia. I'm sorry if I get any of these pronunciations wrong, because uh, this is my first time I've ever done this. Uh, so you're going to be with me for the next 90 minutes of this game. Sadly or happily, you make your own mind up. So, I'll go through the team sheet for you right now. In goal, we have Mr. Braden Miller, our very own cameraman slash commentator for Chase Me Productions. Uh, in defence, Louise Miguel, Ivan Moya, Francis Johan, uh, Silvio, Liam Beckett, uh, Joanne Luis, George Jeremy, James Dawes, up front, Hugo Vincente, and Alessandro. So, it's quite a big game today. We beat um, the first in the league last week. This is uh, the second in the league, so it's a big game, very intense already. Uh, Braden's just made a very, very good save. Um, well, let's see if we can get into it. Free kick here for GDL Minaka. So wherever you are in the world, we want to hear from you. Um, let's see if you're supporting anyone we want to know. Come let us know. Lean back in the middle, into the right, Ivan Moya. And it's a lovely day today, very sunny. We've got the lovely Ellie Hicks on camera. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I've ever been this warm in December, it's December the 12th, uh, I think it's about 16 degrees, oh, breathing there, well done. Getting a bit intense here, I think uh, we need to calm it down, Almineca. Offside, oh, he's in as well. I thought it was offside, it was very, very, very close. Very unlucky there. But at least we got a ball back in the net, we know we can do it. Let's do it again and get it onside. I mean, I could just set it up there. with the pressure here. Oh, close by James Dawes, our head of media. Looking good today in the sun. It's Vincente. It's a through ball. Oh, close. Ivan Meyer just to clear it up there. Well done. Into the middle to Liam Beckett. I think the boys just need to get it on the on the ground, start passing out from the back like they usually do. Get confident. 
They just beat the top of the league last week, so this should be easy for them. Vega on the left hand side here. Uh, Ivan Moya clears up. Solid at the back as usual. Into the box. Ooh. Oh, offside. Freedom Miller to reset. The man, the myth, the maverick. And I apologise for my northern accent. If uh, you're from Spain, you might not be able to understand me very well, so uh, bear with me. I will try and pronounce myself properly. George, Jeremy, just giving some instruction on the left-hand side. Floor giving us a quick wave. Uh, photographer down at the bottom in the nice sun. Well, I'm stuck in the shade. Probably better off seeing I'm a ginger boy. I'll probably burn in the sun. So Vega to playing out from the back now. Ian Beckett picks up in midfield. Well done. from the back. This is uh, something that we always do in Spain. It's always playing out from the back. It's the mentality uh, that they go through. Uh, very effective when they do it properly. Finds a pass on to left to George Jeremy. It's in. Oh, the keeper finds it pretty easily. Vega seems to be passing it around pretty well at the moment. Uh, the boys are finding it a bit hard to pressure. But oh, as soon as I say that, the commentator's curse as usual. It's just a bit scrappy at the moment. I think uh, if one of the teams just gets the ball down, calms down, uh, we're going to find a lot of positivity. Oh, it's a good ball there. Yes, well done, George Jeremy. Oh, caught by the safe hands of Braden Miller. You will have heard his lovely voice yesterday. Maybe a bit more clearer than mine yesterday on the old comms. And we'll have uh, Richard Jackson right now on the Malaga senior game, where our very own Ellie Brett, the queen of media, uh, is filming for us, I think. So maybe check out the scores on that. I'll have a look now and see if I can give you a quick update. So it's 30 minutes in with the Malaga seniors. It's still nil-nil. Up in Nerha on the uh, Nerha artificial. We've got the lovely Ellie Brett up on the scaffold. In the lovely sun. Hope she's got the sun cream on. Ball uh, by Vega. 
Meyer as usual, solid at the back. Uh, offside, thank God. Uh, Braden Miller gets ready to reset and clean up from the back again. I think we should just get it on the floor, calm it down, keep possession for a little bit. We're going to find some more opportunities. Played him a little bit of a skew with pass today. He's going to take the chase. Oh, he gets it. Oh! If you're watching, please put, uh, put something in the comments. Uh, if it's in Spanish, then I'll have to get some uh, some friends to translate for me, but don't worry. Uh, we want to hear from you. We want to see where you're from, where you're watching, who you're supporting. Let us know. And if this feels like a bit of you, you like uh, what you're seeing, you want to play some football with some great facilities, with some great people, great coaches, um, have a look on the Malaga Academy City website uh, and apply. And maybe we can see you in January. Let's hope so. If you like football and so on, um, this is the best place for you. Playing every weekend, getting taught by great coaches in this beautiful sun. Just make sure you bring your sunscreen. Settle down a bit more. Vincente. I think, I 
just missed it. It's just behind the tripod. But it's 1 0 to Aminaka. That's all we care about right now. Game on in the sun. That's what we love to see. And with about 20 minutes in. Oh, just a quick handball there. Another by that Louise me. Louise me go, yeah, Louise me. Add a bit more on that to get over the keeper, but uh, he couldn't generate enough power on the ball. Take it straight out, straight back to us. Oh, that was a good one. Nice and defensive. Cool and collected. squared, hey, the first comment of the stream, our first ever comment, hey, that's it boys, best of breeding and the entire team from New Jersey, hey, Braden will love that, he's done really well, he's so happy to be uh, back in the team last week in the streets, hey, he trained very hard that boy, very hard, and then smashes it for us on the, on the filming and on the commentating, great guy. But thank you 17, 17 meters squared, keep, keep the comments coming. We want to hear from you. Oh, 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 and honestly, still cannot get over how sunny it is here today. It's so sunny. Uh, for the 12th of December, I'm from Manchester, England. I've never seen it this hot before, ever in December. <laughs> no, no penalty there. No penalty. Get out of it. James Barnes in the middle, asking for the ball, another foul. Is that the guy who's on the card before? I'm not too In. James Dawes. Oh, it's Louise Me with his left foot. Oh! Goal! It's a great left 
but as usual by Louise Smith. It's a great uh, tactical change that they made in the past couple of weeks. George Jeremy started to play on the left. I'm pretty sure Louise Smith is uh, a left back naturally, but they've been putting him on that right wing and he scored every game. <laughs> Ali's just saying the sun's gone now to catch his sea. Which really means some beautiful camera work anyway. Don't worry. You could do it black. <laughs> Two nil to Aminaka. Oh, bit of a scuffle pass there. Don't breathe in. It's all good. The boys are going to reset. Well done. Oh, Benzo. Liam Bickett. Into Vincente. Oh, he just got a uh, bad set of bad touch there. Let's see if the boys can get it back quick. Oh, he's got a good Another penalty shot by Rodriguez, but no chance, I don't think. Seeing <laughs> Bickett with a big hoof there. Goes out for a throw in. Boys looking pretty comfortable now uh, after a two goal lead and two good goals. He leaves me with the left foot, that beautiful left foot that we always see. <laughs> I think he got, oh, uh, is it? He might have got a hat trick last week. I think so, if my mind uh, serves me correctly. Oh, there's another foul there. He seems to be in that same part of the pitch, foul after foul. It's another goal in the Harat official. Malaga up 1 0. That's the lovely Richard Jackson commentating. The result right now is 2 0. Sorry we can't bring you any graphics. Um, we're just having some technical difficulties today with the graphics. Um, but I will keep you updated. It's 2 0. We are about 30 minutes into the game. Um, the sun is shining and we are having a lovely day here in Almuneca. Almuneca. Get the pronunciation right or at least something. Danny Elson keeping us updated 2-0 to us so you've had trees for the uh, without the graphics at halftime I'm going to go through everything and see if we can get it working 
Um, but for now, you'll just have to bear with my dulcet tones, as Richard Jackson says. <laughs> I don't know who's more dulcet, we'll have to have a bit of a competition. <laughs> Vega are through here. Let's see if Braden can save. Yes, big save from Braden. That's why he's there in front of the two sticks. He stop anything that's coming at him. Back to him just now. And we're going to play out from the back. We always play out from the back. That's a brilliant save by Braden. He'll be buzzing with that, I know. do sometimes look quite dangerous. I think that was a foul. Not too much that you can argue with there. Uh, maybe got a bit of the ball, but definitely got the man as well. Uh, but yeah, Vega do look uh, dangerous sometimes when they're coming through. I mean, I could seem to be uh, very comfortable. Especially when you've got people like Braden Miller and Ivan Moyer at the back. Big shout out to them too. Braden now telling the boys how to uh, stand up for this wall. Oh, we got a we got a guest here. You're not jumping on? Oh, big of the scored. 2 1. I'm sorry, I thought we were going to have a guest there, and uh, I've just missed a goal. So, yeah, cheers to that. <laughs> but it's a big goal, so I don't want to see that anyway. We just want more Almineca. Let's see if the boys can just uh, get over that, stay calm and collective. So like I said before, they're looking good. They were looking good when they were attacking. Um, we just need to keep it card now because I think out of the two teams, we've definitely been doing better. So it's 2-1 to Almineca City right now. We're about 35 minutes into the game. The sun is shining. Let's see if the boys can get another goal back and secure a bit more of a, a comfortable lead. Braden still shouting, shouting um, instructions. There's a big free ball there. Well done by Braden, swept up. Like I said, we just need to keep it calm now. Keep playing out from the back, play how we know. And another big 
shout out to Ellie Hicks, otherwise known as Hicksy or Junior. <laughs> I don't know which one she prefers yet. We're still working that one out. Uh, big shout out to Richard Jackson and Tom Irving, back at home, back in Old Blighty, back in Brighton. And a big, big, big shout out to the one and only Ellie Brett, aka Beretta. <laughs> They're both in their heart now doing the uh, Malaga game. I uh, think it's still 1 0. I'll get an update up for you right now. So it's half time up in Nerha, Nerha artificial. 1 0 at half time, Malaga. Come on, the boys. Just playing out from the back here. Oh, big ball over. Oh, that's offside. George Jamie's captain's arm man just fell off. Just reattaching that. Big shout out to George Jamie for making all this happen. He's a great guy. I uh, hope we can get promoted to the um, next league at the end of the season. It's going to be a big season if we do. It's not a great ball there from the number two, Johan. Johan though, another great guy, it's a team of good guys here, um, I live opposite Johan, I've got a chat with him now and then, he's a really great guy, he's just come back from um, a lot of injuries, uh, he's just been strengthening himself and uh, it's great to see him back on the pitch, he's, uh, he's really looking forward to it, really excited, he's just leaves me on the right here to see if he can do something with that beautiful left foot, a nice little sexy pass there. Still shouting the instructions there, I love it. A really strong American voice. <laughs> a patriot, an eagle of America. <laughs> but we want to hear more things from you. 70 meter square, be pleased, Danielson. Give us a shout out. Who you support him? Who do you think's um, the man of the match in the second half? It's 2 1 at the moment to uh, CD Alminaka against Kidar Vega Sia. I'm really sorry about these pronunciations. Uh, my Spanish is not too great. But we're learning, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. A very intense game here, you can feel the intensity in the air in the stadium. I think uh, if we get another goal before half time, it'd be uh, excellent. It's going to calm us down a lot. Oh, here we go. 
Decisions keep it calm, keep the ball. Another foul. Taken quickly. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh, it's then draw on the left here. Oh, he's got oh, a foul. Surely a foul. Ref says no. It's a free kick to Kuya Vega. Side uh, trying to get a ball into the box. Big head by Jamie. No foul. No. Get up. I think his Richard would call it Sugar Plum Fairy. <laughs> oh, the left there. Big ball out. Just to get rid of it. Get rid of the pressure. Let's see if Dawes can pick it up. Well done, Dawes. No. Rest has foul. Surely not. Are you? No. And a yellow card. I'm not having that. I'm not having that. Let's get a replay there for you. Here's a soft, soft free kick that. Definitely not the other card. Follow oh, George Jeremy. Diggy getting frustrated. That's what we want. We need to keep him in that mindset. We need to be calm. Cool and collective. Passing out from the back. Be confident in what we're doing. Another goal before half time. I think we're getting close to the uh, half time mark here now. So a goal right now would be brilliant. Doors of the pace that has got to be a foul. No foul, give him. That's a corner. See the Aminaka. Just having a word. That's a good ball in. Oh, keep the grabs easily. So Jeremy just seems to think it was offside there. He's having a word with the linesman. Back on. Oh, oh, great turn there. See if Alexandro can get it. Oh, he just pushed off the ball there. He's coming into the last second there, I think.
free kick to CD Almanacker there. I think uh, as we're on to the closing last 30 seconds of the game, if we can get a quick goal from Braden Miller with a through ball into Vincente, that would be beautiful. Um, but we might see some substitutions at half time. Um, with Braden Miller now with the free kick. It's got to be a foul, right? Liam Bickett in the middle to Van Moya. Louise me on the left with that beautiful left foot. Oh, sorry, he's on the right. But with that beautiful left foot. Referee just has a look at his watch. I think he's going to blow the whistle soon. Maybe this is the last attack. That's half time. 2 1 to CD Almunaka. Um, is a very intense game against second in the league. We beat the first in the league last week, so I think if we just keep confident, stay calm, cool and collected, uh, we can see this one through. Come on, the boys. And just for now, while you're waiting, while you want to get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a croissant, a piece of toast, whatever you need, we'll bring you some adverts and we'll be back with you as soon as possible. Para mí es, es un honor de, de poder estar aquí de, en Balaído. ¿no? Ha sido un estadio que ha hecho muchísimos goles, ha hecho una carrera eh, magnífica. Estaba yo en el Málaga haciendo muchísimos goles. Entonces, ha tenido una propuesta, ha tenido una conversación con Horacio, con todo el directivo. Y para mí fue... Fue emocionante porque tú llegas a un equipo como Celta de Vigo. Para llegar hay un, un camino muy grande. Hay que trabajar mucho, hay que estar todos los días muy concentrado, disciplina táctica, disciplina en todo. Entonces es muy importante tener es lo primero. Y aquí es lo más importante. Lo que el entrenador está explicando lo que tiene que hacer. Entonces yo lo comento siempre a ellos, que hay que aprender. Estamos en una no, no fase de aprendizaje muy grande. La formación de ellos, 
es más importante de, 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 de la academia. La academia, lo que más interesa a la academia Málaga City, la formación. El objetivo de la academia es formar lo máximo que en el final de año tenemos la certeza que enseñamos a ese chico algo. Eso es lo más importante. Que él esté feliz. La felicidad de él es la felicidad de la academia.
Yeah, so so in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England, and um, you know, I think it's been been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now our, our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night. Um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United, and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night. So you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort, and I can't thank the staff enough. You know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been absolute, absolute trooper. You know, I think everyone's really dug in, and it shows kind of what this project's about. That is, it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that uh, are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help me in everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, what to do and what not to do. And to be honest, I've become such a better player since I've arrived. If I had to describe football in one word, I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how, how much it means to me and it, everything evolves around it. And it's just all I have, and it's all I'm going to have, and it's all I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> I would say life, because I feel like my life moves around football, and it's just, I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football, and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's given me the ability to play, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I have to keep working hard training, and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it just like playing. I love the, the game, especially Spanish football. Ah, for me, it's like, it's my life. This is my life. I think I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even if you have talent, you have to work, like still training and do everything you can to be at the top level. Basically just, um, if you want to make it, just go for it. Train hard, work hard, and don't give up. Uh, be able to adapt and change to things. Soccer is a very subjective sport, and it's all about the coach's mind and what they're trying to play, but it's really been a fantastic experience for me, and I would recommend you come try it out yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and just coming back onto the pitch. It's 2-1 to see the Army Necker. Um, we're just getting ready, watering the pitch. Because it's so sunny, the pitch gets so dry out here very quickly. Just trying to see if we've got any changes. We're still not here just yet. Here come the boys now. Let's try and see if we've got any subs. Doesn't look like it. No, no changes at our time, I don't think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Everyone's just getting ready. So we want to hear from you, wherever you are in the world. Get on the comments. Uh, we've got a couple of comments here from Louis, Venga, Leroy, Borussia Alumineka. Big shout out. We're going to get this win today. I can feel it. So I think 33 has come on. I'm not too sure who for. So it's Moya that's come off. 
Number four, Moyes come off for number 33, Torres. Oh, I'll be nice to kick off. And off we go. Ball over the top straight away. He's trying to find the reason here. Couldn't find him though. Here's Grayson. Just climbing over, getting back into the sun. <laughs> the number one cameraman. <laughs> Do you want to come and have a chat? No. <laughs> Fading out from the back. See if Bickett's going to head it. Ball just miss it there. Oh, it's a free ball into Dorsey. Come on, he sees the pace. Oh, it's unlucky. Come on, Bickett. Here we go. Ah, unlucky. It's a good start to the game, though. Let's just keep it like that. Get some goals in. Get some distance between the other team. Going here for Vega. Big shout out from Braden there. Go on, Louise Nee. It's a good team of boys here. A lot of communication, especially from Braden. You can hear him shouting the whole match. It's good. Oh, it's a shot. Ah, oh, it's gone wide. I'm lucky from the boys, just trying to play out from the back. You just gotta keep the confidence. Oh, if you knock it out, if it goes out for a throw in, it doesn't matter, just reset, go again. Oh, there you go through here. Ah, it's easy for Braden. Out from the back again. And although it's very sunny outside, but I am in the shade, I'm getting a little bit chilly now. I might have to put a jacket on. So just seeing if George Journey's come off. He's standing on the sideline. Not sure maybe it's because they're not. We didn't play too bad the last half, so maybe it's tactical change. Ball over the top. To Vega. The reason he picked it up. Oh, tries to be outside the left foot. That beautiful left foot we always see. I will always talk about that. I'll never shut up about that. Seen some good goals this season already from him. Referee's just having with uh, 
having a word with Vega's manager. Not too sure why. Maybe he's getting a bit too too big for his boots. Vega throw in. And I think we will be about 15 minutes ahead in the other get all. No worries there. Braden scoops it up. No safe and sound hands. Ball over the top here. Couldn't find anyone. Missed kick from Vega. Throwing up the pitch. Let's get up the pitch, boys. Get some pressure on. The penalty shot there. Still in. Oh, lucky by James Dawes. And get a replay of that for you. So I think I'm going to see this replay late. So I will be commentating on it a couple of seconds later. Just because of some difficulties we've got. Maybe not a penalty though. No. Unlucky by James Dawes though. ball it's gone far out that's maybe one of the only problems with this pitch is if it goes out for a throw in no one's going to catch it and we've got to wait a couple of minutes for the ball we've got some ball boys on each side of the pitch behind the goals but if it's out for a throw in we're waiting a couple of minutes so just a quick update from Nerha We've got 15 minutes left. Well, just over 15 minutes left. 1-0 still to Malaga. So hopefully we can score that win. Hopefully we can score a win here. And it's going to be a good weekend for the boys. The Feminino won, I think, was it 11-0? Yesterday. I'm going to double check because my memory isn't the best. back out. The intensity is back. Yeah, Ismail's waiting to come on. Yeah, the ref's saying to come on. Not too sure who's coming on for as well. Oh, Dawes is off. James Dawsey. The ball played today. Had an unlucky chance before. Our head of media. The man. Oh, then Dawsey. Another throw a bit higher up the field. Like I said before, we just need to get some pressure on these boys. I don't think they can handle it. We had a good spell before when we scored the two goals. And we looked really dangerous. We just need to get back kicking into that traction again. Oh, it's a big shot. Oh, so close. Come on, boysies. 
And I'm so sorry, I've not got the pitch on. I should be able to hear the drum now, maybe. As a commentator's curse, he's just stopped playing the drum as soon as I put it on. So hopefully if you score a goal or something, you're going to hear it. What's the ball in? Jaden scoops it up. Easy, those safe hands. Let's see if we can get out quickly here before we get pressured up. Vega play it down. Well, it's got knocked over. It's not too much in it. So yeah, I've just uh, rechecked with my on my phone. We did win 11-0 with Femino yesterday. I think the Malaga under 23s won 4-2. Pixie's giving us the old nod there. <laughs> so yeah, good weekend for everyone. We just need to secure these two results today, and we're all good in Manchester. As we say, Manchester, all gravy, baby. between those two. Go on. Oh. Vincente was very close there. It's good defending. Oh, Necker have a corner. Just while we're waiting for this corner, yesterday I think it was Maddie. I'm not going to even try the second name because I'm not going to bottle it. Uh, but Maddie, number 22, scored from a corner yesterday. She's got a great uh, left foot for those corners. Uh, sail straight over the keeper. Let's see if we can get one now. Ooh, lucky. Just need to get back here, big time. Big time, needs to get back. It's nearly three on two. We got it on the left. Oh, the reason he covers. Thank God. Moyer's on to the right. Come on, let's get it on the right here. Ah. Just need to keep it calm now. Really need to keep it calm. No foul. It went down so easy. Get up. You see, as soon as they don't get the foul, they're straight back up. I'm going to have to switch it. Oh, yeah. 
that as a free kick towards and that'll be that. It's number three he plays dirty. He's, he's done a couple, I'm pretty sure he's on Vincente as well. He's had a couple of knocks. We couldn't find anyone in the box. Vega waiting to make a substitution there. Number 14 coming on. I'm not just hoping out a wing for a striker. Number 14 on for. Turns his back. Every time you want to see a player's bat and you want to see the number, they know telepathically that you're not going to see it. No, he's put his bib on without the team. So number 14 on for Vega. Francisco is waiting to come on. Number 22. I think the man at the back. We might see Johan coming off here. I know it's uh, one of his first games back, so we don't want him to get injured. Don't want anything to happen. Oh, it's a soft free kick there. Really soft. Got a couple of fans nodding their heads there. As Richard would say, a struggle from Ferry. They always get up when they don't get the foul, but if they don't get, uh, if they get the foul, it's a five minute wait. Maybe call 999. Oh, I'm not too sure what it is actually. I probably should know that for them, don't they? Oh, it's a good ball in. Ooh. Louise me chasing. Good strength by the Vega player. Well done, boys. It's a good position there. If they can just keep it. Oh, well done by Alexandro. On the right, it's a little one-two, and again, if you can do it, oh, look it! Oh, come on, someone's got to get to that. Not enough communication there. I think three, three different players all thought they were running to it, thought each other were getting it, and then they ended up none of them getting it. Pass back. Thank God my players up. Braden just needs to calm them down here. Oh, they're playing off from the back. They're getting pressured a lot here. Clash there. Let's see if we can get a replay. Yeah, Brayden just flicks it. Yeah. 
I don't think the Vega meant any meant any harm, but so a foul. Until he got touched. Ah, could have just slipped. Unlucky. Boys pick it up. Just need a bit of confidence, get a bit of confidence back. Maybe a good shot, a good attack. Play some good football, boys. Happy to see Johan play him. Really am. Uh, glad he didn't come off. I was just wondering maybe he was coming off just in case uh, he's getting injured. Coming back or anything. Just over 20 minutes into the second half. Both teams looking like they can score. But it's quite quite scrappy sometimes. I think uh, if Armiaki can just get the ball down, get some confidence. Oh, no, 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 no. It's got to be a save by Braden. Oh, I don't want to laugh, but that was a big miss. We'll try and get a replay of that one for you. But like I say, I see the replay bit later than you guys so I might not be commentating on it properly in time. So it's out the back from Vega. Oh it's just a misheader. He squared it. Oh he just skied that. Completely skied it. That needs to be a little message for us though. We need to keep calm. These guys can score. These guys are dangerous. Oh it's a misheader there. Say these are second in the lead. I'm not oh, yeah, well done, boys. Just that's it. Oh, that's got to be a foul. Ref says no, throw him. just not there with the boys at the minute. But we're still in front, we're still in the lead, we just need to keep calm, keep collected. We know what we're doing, we know how to play out from the back. That's how we score our goals. Uh, just need to get across that back four, I think. Number nine coming on for Vega. <laughs> Just been offered a biscuit. I said no, though. So I doubt that you want to hear me eating down the mic. A chocolate digestive. Oh, you, know you can get them this game, to be fair. Ismail tackling for the ball there, just gets it off him. The ball over the top. I swear they're looking quite dangerous there, uh, Vega. We're getting these balls in for the middle, and uh, we're not dealing with it properly. 
think uh, number 24 for us, Paseku, <laughs> waiting to come on. I'm really sorry if I'm getting any of your pronunciations wrong. I'll probably get hammered after the game off my boss. But we're all good. We learn. And as Hixie says, we move. No. Oh, it's offside, thank God. Nineteen minutes left of this half. Two one to see the Aminaka versus Vega. We're at home in this beautiful pitch in Aminaka. If you like the look at what you see, if you can see yourself playing for us or playing for one of the teams, check the Malaga Academy City website out, uh, slash apply and get your application in. Maybe we can see you in January, maybe see you in next season. If you want to play with some great people get taught by some excellent coaches and some great facilities uh, travel the whole of the south coast of Spain what an amazing place what an amazing experience get signed up guys So I think since I said about the drum, I'm not realising that I put the sound on, we've still not heard a drum. I promise you I'm not lying. There is one somewhere. Oi, straight on cue. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you go, looks like they're getting some momentum here. Braden's come out, well done. It's a good position there. He's not put it out too close to him. He's got enough time to run back, reset. I think the boys really just need to calm down now. Get the ball, get some possession, keep the ball away from them. Because it's always harder when you're in the lead, I think. Oh, that's cool. Good. Oh, it was liquid football. The finish wasn't there. It was close outside the box. That's the first chance we've had in a, in a while. Very good chance. Uh, we just need, we need, like I said before, we just need that one little bit of momentum just to start it going. We need to get the pressure on them. Oh, it's foul. Just nicked him there by accident. Big ball over. 
coming into the last 15 minutes now. It's going to get really intense, I think. Oh, handball. Having a word with the linesman, not too sure what about. And they're waiting to get a substitution on maybe. The number 17 still got a bib on, so I'm not too sure if they've been allowed to come on just yet. He's going back to warm up, I think. A free kick in from Vega. Oh, what a catch! Well done, Braden. Still at the back as always. Restarts quick. Let's see if we can get something here. The overlap's on. Let's see if Ismail puts some fruit. Still got the ball. Alessandro's on. Oh, his quick feet. He's so quick. Oh, lucky. Bit of a worm burner. Just wide. possession there looking the most dangerous of any kind of possession that they get. Oh it's a good save. Well done Braydog. We love to see it. We love to see it. Well done Braden. Corner to Vega. As long as we got black man between the sticks, we got no worries. I don't know if that was a bit of a training session corner or just a missed kick. But it curled straight out the box. Through on the right there. The pull yard. Coming to us. It would be brilliant if we could get a goal right now. Each minute feels about two hours. Keep looking down at the clock. It's only been another two minutes. We've got 12 minutes left on the clock. Oh, we just got someone down. That is Alessandro. Yeah, he's okay though. No worries. With the quick feet. Misses it. Oh, he's going back though. He's fighting for it. Unlucky. It's just so second balls when we're just not getting any of them. Sometimes it's just down to luck. Sometimes that kind of stuff just happens. Um, and if we just get confident once we've got possession, there's nothing that can go wrong really. We just play out from the back. We know how to do it. We've done it a million times before. Intensity on the right here. Oh, it's a scoop over. Oh, unlucky. Still on the edge, oh, we've got it. Mm. Mr. Bickett on the left here. So you can get a ball in. Back on the edge, Alessandro. Oh, I'm not sure about this Intensity intercepts. 
Come on, boysies. This is where we just need to keep this last 10 minutes solid. Great skipping pass to see the Albinecca and then puts out a grab ball. It happens sometimes to these players. The, uh, sometimes you can do so many good things, take it past a few players, and then you get a bit too excited, put the ball straight out. <laughs> Juan Lu. Just down there. Hopefully he's okay. It's really sunny now. I think it's baking down. What time are we on? It's 20 to 2. It's getting to probably the hottest part of the day. I'm sure that the Malaga FC game will have finished by now. Just have a look at that score for you. Pablo's coming on. Yeah, Pablo. I oh, just give a hug to number eight on the other team. Maybe an old, old friend, old football friend. Now rivals on each side of the pitch. Let's see if he can get a goal in. Shove it in his face. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, FC Malaga City finished 2-0 against Atarfe Industrial Sia. Oh, well done, boys. Big win there. Just needs to keep it cool here, uh, get this win in. And we are sailing into Christmas. I know it does not look like Christmas whatsoever from what you're uh, seeing on our screens because it is so sunny. Blue skies, perfecto. Big tackle. Yes, putting Vincente, he's through, he's through. Alessandro's through it. Oh, the ball's just too much. Offside anyway. They can restart quick. I told you these last couple of minutes are going to be intense. It's a ball into the box. Had her out. Oh, Yoha. No. See, they're going down. And you get straight back up as soon as you don't get it. Every time. Every time. They went for a throw in. From my angle, like it might have been go nearly going in, it's just nearly going out for a throw in. Bit of a missed kick. <laughs> Look forward to trying to get some pictures of the I'll get some pictures of the stadium. Braden's been solid today. I think for me he's been one of the best players for CD Almanaca. He put in two great saves. He's been calm, cool and collected. He's been given good instructions. Always been really loud, good communication. That's what you want from your goalkeeper. And we know he loves to talk. If you ever heard his commentary, oh, he'll hate me for that. <laughs> no, he's a really good commentator, really good filmer, even better keeper. 
Yes! And like I said, on cue, Braden Miller, the man. The man, the myth, the maverick. He can commentate, he can film, and he can save anything you shoot at him. What a guy. Well done, Braden. Corner. Just getting tangled up with some wires here. Can't actually see the corner. Here we go. Corner him. He's doing all right, ball. Oh, that's a foul. We really need to keep this calm now. We don't want to lose this. We beat first in the league, top of the league last week, second league now. We need this win. Just trying to waste some time and everything. And number 21 coming on. Our very own Michael Buffy. I'm not too sure he's coming off yet. No one's decided. Oh, someone's just been showing a yellow card. I think it's Ismail. Yeah, I think it's blocking for Ismail. I'm not too sure what that was for. I'm really not too sure. And center on the right. See if he can do something. Ah, just miss it. That with his left. Really don't want to lose it here. We've done really well all game. The pigeons are on the pitch. We're doing anything we can to stop these boys from scoring. Oh, it's a missed pass, thank God. In the middle now. Oh, it's a ball over. Basuku. Let's see if he can chase it. Oh, unlucky. Pick it in the middle. Keep everything calm. Them boys. As long as we keep it in there. Oh, that looks a bit painful. Oh. I think he just landed on top of him there, Alessandro. Alessandro and Vincent have been through it today. A lot of knocks, a lot of fouls on him. Oh, he just needs a bit of assistance there. I hope he's okay. Played really well today. Really quick feed on that left hand side. It's going to be a couple of minutes out of Dom. Bit of squeaky bum time, obviously in England. Ball in here by Pablo, I think, in 30. Alessandro's all right, I think. Ball in, chipped. Oh, look at that phone call. Oh, Vincent, he's just put a nice tackle in there. Oh, it's a great pass from Basuko back into him. Just need a right pass here. Liam Bickett. Hit it. Oh, lucky. As long as we keep it in there half, it doesn't matter. We just don't want any more. Uh, hiccups in our box. We don't want to put Braden under too much pressure. He's made so many good saves today. I'm sure he'd make another one, but still, it's better to be in their half rather than your own. It's a last minute of normal time here. Probably gonna have one or two minutes extra time unless the pigeons put a foul in. 
then it might be an extra five. Oh, he's on the done draw. Oh, it's a great save. Consente on the right. Ah, oh, it's another great save. Corner CD Albinecker. As long as we keep it in this half, we're going to be all good. 2 1 CD Albinecker. 15 seconds left. Is it not a corner? No, it's not. Commentator's curse. Again. Got to be a foul. Got to be a foul. Kuyas, manager, is going crazy right now. He's putting his arms up in the air. He's looking at the linesman. He's looking at the ref. He's looking at the sky. He's looking at the floor. No one can answer him what he wants to hear. Throwing into Kasuku. Taking it all the way there. Oh, it's a good pass. Yes! Goal! 3 1. It's 3 1. I'm going to do it again. Goal! What a goal. It's 3 1 to CD Almineka. That's surely got to be it now. That's some liquid football. Well done, the boys. That's been a great weekend for CD Almineka. A great weekend for SC Malaga. Four wins in. So many goals. Well done, the boys. Hey. hey. The atmosphere in here is good now. We know we got the win. There's no chance they're going to score. We're two minutes into extra time here. The ball over the top. Bakuya. Ah, the cross is out though. Yes, well done, boys. Just need to see this through now. Come on, the boys. Yes, we got 17 meters squared. Yes! We love to see it. We love to hear it. Great defending there. Three minutes into extra time. I think we, we did have a couple of stoppages, so I'm not too sure what it's going to be. The ref might put four minutes on, might put five minutes on. Boys, look here, we've got a lot more energy back now. Just got to see this through. Make sure they don't score. Just put a ball in, that's a corner. The referee just had a little look at his watch. There can't be too many attacks now from this game. I'm going to say maybe another minute. But as we all know, the commentator's curse. Get you every time. Yeah, I was getting ready to take the corner. In it goes. Big Ed from Franco. Yeah, I was trying to get it back in. Well done, the boys. Straight out. 
And again, we just need to put that pressure on, stamp it out. I know we're three one up, but still, keep the energy. Don't let them score. Oh, he's got quick feet. I oh, he skied it. Out for another corner, though. Second corner, last couple of minutes. A big head by Franco again. It's like a magnet in his head to that ball. Vincente. These are two good guys just to get it out when you need to get rid of the pressure. Alessandro through. Ah, oh, he's offside. Ah, oh, there we go. It's 3 1 to see the Alminaka. Sorry, I did not put the score up there. It's a great. Great, 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 great result for the boys. We've got one more match, I think, next week before we finish with Christmas. Um, so catch us then. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, happy that we had a couple of viewers and you stuck with me with my dulcet tones, dulcet northern tones. Um, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you very much. Para mí es, es un honor de, de poder estar aquí de, de embalaído. ¿no? Ha sido un estadio que ha hecho muchísimos goles, ha hecho una carrera eh, magnífica. Estaba yo en el Málaga haciendo muchísimos goles. Entonces, ha tenido una propuesta, ha tenido una conversación con Horacio, con todo el directivo. Y para mí fue... Fue emocionante porque tú llegas en un equipo como Celta de Vigo. Para llegar hay un, un camino muy grande. Hay que trabajar mucho, hay que estar todos los días muy concentrado, disciplina táctica, disciplina en todo. Entonces es muy importante tener es lo primero. Y aquí es lo más importante. Lo que el entrenador está explicando lo que tiene que hacer. Entonces yo lo comento siempre a ellos, que hay que aprender. Estamos en no, una no fase de aprendizaje muy grande. La formación de ellos es lo más importante de, de, de la academia. La academia, lo que más interesa es la academia Málaga City, la formación. O objetivo de la academia es formar lo máximo que no final de año tenemos la certeza que enseñamos a ese chico algo. Eso es lo más importante. Que él esté feliz. La felicidad de él es la felicidad de la academia.